Good morning. It's Monday, February 7th, 2022. And I wanted to talk about social media for artists. And I wanted to talk about it in a different way than it's usually talked about in videos that are help videos for artists and for um, people who want to use it for self-promotion. So the first thing I want to talk about is the idea that I think a lot of people, when they get on social media and start using it for marketing purposes, is they think of it as broadcast media, almost like television, and that um, the, the television show is what's going on in social media and that they're going to provide advertisements in between that about their work. And I think that that might be a bad way of thinking about social media. Social media is primarily meant to be interactive. So the idea of social media initially is you're not broadcasting a TV show. What you're literally doing is you're interacting with other people. And so don't think that you should just get on social media and get into groups and things like that and then just shout yourself out all the time but not interact with other people. So probably the most important thing that you can do as a person who is using social media and an artist who's using it is you want to be sharing and connecting with other people much more than you want to be broadcasting or shouting out about yourself. What you want to do is you want to make probably seven to eight out of um, your posts out of ten um, about other people and about saying something positive and helping someone else. So what I generally do is I have artists who I respect as my friends and I try to share their work as much as possible and so if you look at my media feed for example on Facebook you'll probably notice that a majority of my posts are <laughs> things like dog pictures, kittens, puppies, art news, um, uh, and uh, most of them are sharing other artists work who I think are very good. Now another thing about social media for artists that you might want to consider uh, doing is never getting negative or arguing with people on social media. Um, it, you'll never change their mind about anything. And even if they're saying something so offensive it just riles you up, they're doing that to troll you or trawl you into an argument. They're pulling you into an argument that's non-productive and just makes you angry and makes them angry and makes everyone feel bad. So one of the first things that, that I think of when I am on social media is like, do I really need to share that political post or that propaganda? My art is already political enough. It's about um, uh, queer culture. And I feel like sharing political stuff to people who are already like-minded with me, I'm not convincing them of something. We're just both affirming each other's point of view. So I try to stay away from sharing political posts and propaganda unless it's something I just can't help. But I also don't engage with the other side, uh, with people who are being illiberal or being very negative. So one of the things that I suggest as an artist is avoid contentious topics and avoid politics and propaganda, except for in your artwork. So what kinds of things can you share? Well, I suppose the things that you can share, aside from other artists' work uh, and your own work, are articles about art, uh, paintings from art history, puppies and kittens, beautiful scenes, beautiful photography, uh, things that make you feel good. Those are all really important things. You could share things about grants, news that you've heard about art that you think is really valuable. And so those are really kind of important things to do. Now the other behaviors or activities that I think would are very useful uh, when you're on social media is if someone says something nice about your work, thank them every single time. And if they say something thoughtful about the work, confirm or affirm what they've said is correct and and how valuable it is to you that they took the time to write something that was obser observing you and your work and, and what you're trying to do. The other thing that um, you should be doing is commenting and sharing other people's things. 
And really, if you were to write two sentences about another artist's work in which you talked about the physical form of it or the subject matter that you really liked, think about what a buzz that is when you get a comment like that. If you do that for other people, it makes a positive gestalt. It makes a positive sort of world for everybody to exist in. So the last thing that I think is very important for all people on social media, but in particular artists who get, sometimes you're gonna get negative comments. If someone says something negative about a friend of yours or a, or a piece of art that you've posted um, that's by another artist who you respect, you don't need to argue with that person. I think too many people use social media as an excuse or a place to just start getting into arguments and fights. What you should do is just delete their comment if it's on your post and consider also unfollowing or blocking that person on social media. If someone says something very negative and they're looking to start fights, why not just get rid of them? Just decide that you're not going to argue with that person anymore and just block them. So I'm talking about the ethics of social media and so one of the things that that constantly is discussed is how do you use social media to connect with collectors? Well, not, I think that social media is great to connect with the collectors, but you should use it to have meaningful interactions with all people. So thanks for listening.